Rabotai, um, with regards to kashering liver. Liver is a very um, tricky piece of uh, meat to kasher because the Gemara says that it is even more filled and saturated with blood than the heart. And that's because all of the uh, blood of, of the body gets filtered through the liver. So over there, there's no way to salt it at all. That's why when it's sold in stores today, it's not kashered because it can't be kashered just by salting. The one and only way to kasher liver is only by an open flame, only by grilling or broiling. So the halacha is, and that's not even enough. The halacha is first, before a person grills it, it has to first be cut deeply, sheti which means vertically and horizontally. You have to cut it deep because inside the liver, there's all sorts of tubes that are filled with blood. So Chazan said you have to cut them open first by making a deep cut, both vertically and horizontally. And then, once you do that, you flip it over, meaning uh, so that the, uh, the cut side is towards the fire, and then the fire will be able to draw out the blood, and then it'll be able to seep through. So uh, also a person has to be careful that you do it either on top of a grate or a rack or some sort of uh, keli that's perforated with holes in it so that the b- blood is able to drip out and not collect over there and go back into the liver. Sometimes when you get um, chicken livers in the store, they're already cut up into little pieces. Over there, you don't have to do any more cutting because it's already been cut up into pieces. That's fine. But when it's sold whole, especially by beef livers, beef livers, sometimes people don't want to distort the, uh, the look of the whole liver. So they just grill it like that. That's completely incorrect. That's asur. It has to be cut first. It has to be sliced uh, vertically and horizontally in order to get the tubes of blood. There's a minhag of the Ashkenazim to wash off the liver from the residual blood after the grilling. Minhag Asferadim is not to do that. You can leave it as is. Now also interesting is that how long do you have to grill it for? So the deen is over there that as long as the, the, uh, the uh, liver is edible as a result of the grilling, the halachai is it's perfectly fine. However long it takes, it doesn't need to be well done as long as it's edible. Even though it seems like it's still releasing blood after it's edible, the halacha is that blood is completely mutar. We consider everything to have come out afterwards, heter uh, gamur, and all it needs to be is edible, and then you've done your part. Bezat Hashem will speak about tomorrow. Are there other things allowed to be done to the liver, cooking and, and uh, sauteing and things like that, after the grilling? We'll speak about that tomorrow, Bezat Hashem. Yom